Uh, I have a very good relationship with Dr. Fauci. You know, it's sort of interesting. We've listened to Dr. Fauci. I haven't always agreed with him, and that's, I think, pretty standard. That's okay. Uh, he did not want us to ban our this, this put up the ban to China when China was heavily infected, very badly, Wuhan. Uh, he didn't want to do that, and I did, and other things. And he told me I was right, and he told me I saved tens of thousands of lives, which was generous. And for the most part, we've done pretty much what he and others, Dr. Burks and others who are terrific, recommended. And he's got this high approval rating. So why don't I have a high approval rating with respect, and the administration, with respect to the virus? We should have a very high, because what we've done in terms of, uh, we're just reading off about the masks and the gowns and the ventilators and numbers that nobody's seen. And the testing at 55 million tests, we tested more than anybody in the world. I have a graph that I'd love to show you. I'm, perhaps you've seen it. Where we're up here and the rest of the world is down at a level that's a, just a tiny fraction of what we've done in terms of testing. So it sort of is curious. A man works for us, with us very closely, Dr. Fauci and Dr. Birx, also highly thought of. And yet, they're highly thought of, but nobody likes me. It can only be my personality.